Did you know it's a very, very special day? Continuing the trend of Giving Tuesday today. It is, of course, Tuesday, the 12th of May, 2020. And today is Giving Tuesday podcast day. There's a hashtag over on Twitter that is trending right now. So I decided to record a bonus episode here of the Podcast Accelerator, recommending three brand new amazing podcasts to listen to right now. I'm your host, Mark Asquith. CEO and co-founder of Rebel Base Media, where we make podcasting technology, including Captivate.fm, the world's only growth-oriented podcast host. And today I'm here just quickly dropping in to recommend three brand new podcasts for you to listen to, like I said, as part of Giving Tuesday Podcast. You can follow the hashtag, hashtag Giving Tuesday Podcasts over on Twitter and Instagram, of course. And it's a delight to be able to do this. It's really nice to uh, just to see these initiatives pop up. And who am I not to record a quick bonus episode uh, when there's so many people doing so much more? So, right, let's dig into this. It's an interesting one. Of course, there are always so many podcasts to listen to. There's a thousand being added every single day, way beyond that actually. We're just tens of thousands every single day being added into podcast directories. So the three that I have for you today are three podcasts that are very different to the podcast that I would ordinarily recommend or that you'd you'd hear me talking about on the show. Uh, Because normally, obviously, the Podcast Accelerator is about, you know, podcasts. It's about how to build podcasts. And so normally I recommend things in the podcasting industry because you know, they'll be useful to you right here as a listener of the Podcast Accelerator. But today, I'm going to talk to you about three podcasts that I really, really love based purely on two things. Number one, the content. And number two, more importantly, the team that run those podcasts, all right? The team that run those podcasts. So let's dig in, all right? Let's dig in to my first recommendation, which is the Jerry Anderson podcast run by a good friend of mine, Mr. Jamie Anderson, son of the famous and fantastic Jerry Anderson, creator of many of my childhood memories, including, uh, you know, being scared to death by, by terror hawks. I used to be scared to death by that. And Thunderbird, Captain Scarlet, Stingray, some amazingly iconic shows and pop culture icons and references that people of a certain age, and I like to believe certain caliber, will recognize. And, you know, Jamie runs this show and it's absolutely fantastic. Actually, they celebrated their 100th episode yesterday, which is wonderful. So you can go and check that out at jerryandersonpodcast.com. And of course, check it out over on your podcast app of choice. Now, it's a fant- it really is a fantastic show. And for anyone that is into that wicked world of Jerry Anderson, it's It's absolutely fascinating. You know, I'm a real geek. I'm a mythology geek. I'm a real geek for uh, how things are made like this. And, you know, the pioneering work that was going on in in Super Mario Nation, that was going on in in just how, you know, kind of, I guess, puppeteering would really kind of shape a storyline and and, and some of the real solid innovations that they made around how they made the sets and what they did. Um, Just to bring the storylines to life was just absolutely fascinating to me as a kid. In fact, I remember, can you remember that crazy year when Tracy Island was the number one just hottest selling toy at Christmas and you just could not get them. In fact, Blue Peter here in the UK put together an episode on how you t- you can make your own Tracy Island because they were th- it was that big, you just couldn't get it. And it just shows how enduring these kinds of franchises and icons and pop culture references and, 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 and properties are. Uh, and it's no surprise that Thunderbirds in particular continues to be revamped and revitalized in the form of animation, uh, in the form of a movie, obviously a few years ago, probably over a decade ago now. So this is always enduring. I've got a heck of a lot of, of time and respect and love for what Jamie and the team do over there. So check that one out. It's a Jerry Anderson podcast. You will not be disappointed. The next recommendation that I've got for you is uh, actually a military show. It's run by a great friend of mine, Raf from Served.Vet. Now, Raf is uh, is a long-time military veteran. veteran. He, he now works... Um, I'm not going to say where he works because it's uh, you know it's personal, but he works for a, a, a very high-caliber uh, US... I'm going to say US... Um, organization. Let's just say it's not the CIA, don't worry. But Raf is just one of these people whose enthusiasm is infectious. And I've known Raf for a long, long time. I used to coach Raf personally back when I did coaching um, before I realized that uh, actually, you know, I'm not qualified to coach people. I just do podcasting every day. I mean, I'm a, I don't mean I'm a coach, even though I'm journaling a lot more. If you saw my tweet yesterday, sarcastic tweet about uh, turning into a coach because I journal now. So 
You know, that's apparently all the qualifications that you need to be a coach these days. But Rafi's a real, real good guy. Very, very strong family man. Lives out there um, on the east coast of the US. And he created Served.Vet as a way of giving back. All right, a way of connecting people. And he's got this give, uh, get one, give one campaign. Sorry, Raf, get one, give one campaign where what he does is he creates these stickers and these are like little nodes on a tree and they connect veterans to each other. They make you really feel part of a veterans network. And what he does is he just gives them to people that he knows of vets in public. He really surprises these people, really makes things happen uh, for the veterans in his life and around him. And it's just such a an endearing thing to be able to do. And Raf is just such a kind and generous person. He's a very kind, generous person. I've, you know, I've been friends with him for a long, long time. We've met in person a number of times, even though I'm in the UK. We've got some stories we can tell, some shared tales um, that I'm not going to share here. Uh, but Raf, you know what I'm talking about. If, uh, if, if you're listening, you know, the freeway will never be the same. All right. And my, my experience driving will never be the same. Uh, and Rafa's got some amazing stories of his own. Just ask him about the Malaysian pop star incident. If you ever meet him, he's often frequenting very many of the podcasting conferences, including in particular podcast mid Atlantic run by my friend, Mr. Joey Pardo. Um, so please go and check out serve.vet because it's a very high concept show. The graphic de- design is wonderful on it. Um, the way that Raf pours his heart and soul into the production of it, um, and experiments with it is fantastic. And some of the stories that he tells on there, either through interviews or solo shows, uh, just fantastic, all right? So go and check out served.vet or served underscore vet on Twitter. And my last recommendation is another show run by a great friend of mine. Um, and I'm not just saying it because he's a friend of mine. I'm saying it because he interviewed one of my all-time heroes, an author that I've followed for a long, long time. And sadly, I couldn't be at the interview, even though he was trying to get me there and I was trying to be there. But I was away on the West Coast of the US, as you know, I did a bit of travel. And the interview sadly had to take place during that time. Um this is your London legacy, all right, run by Steve Lazarus. And again, Steve is a person that I've known for a long, long time. He's a good friend. Class him as a very close friend. And he he lives in London and we you know, we've been working together for a while on, 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 on conceptualizing a podcast, which he's now developed, um, that tells the hidden stories of London's hidden personalities. All right. Timeless tales from the hidden people of London. And he interviewed Andy McNabb, who's one of my all time favorite authors. Well, of course, um, he's from the SAS regiment that was, uh, stranded in Iraq back in the nineties as part of the Bravo two zero team. Um, and that's how he came into prominence in my mind to the general public, uh, along with Chris Ryan. <clears throat> and, you know, I, I was a big fan of Bravo 20, the movie, but also Bravo 20, the book, and then went on to read everything that Andy McNabb had done uh, with his Nick Stone character and a couple of other things that he did. He was a choreograph, uh, the fight choreographer on uh, Heat. You remember Heat, the 1990s film, 91, um, with Robert De Niro and Al Pacino, the first time Al Pacino and De Niro appeared on screen together. And... You know, Steve just does such a wonderful job of, I mean, this is Andy McNabb, all right? This is the person that, that is, you know, that is such a storied individual. You know, this guy is, is, is just fantastic. You know, he's, he's lived such a life. And Steve Lazarus, you know, he is such a natural talent with how he interviews guests and put, puts his interviews and his episodes together, puts so much love and care and attention into this, all right? And he's not only just, he's just not interviewed, of course, people like Andy McNabb, he's interviewed Lyle Hardy, he's done a lot of work with the Mayflower um, organisation that runs the Mayflower celebrations this year, uh, and he's just done so very much for London and for the London ecosystem, and he's just such a fantastically generous and charming guy and such a massive talent in the podcasting space, all right? What a fantastic creator Steve Lazarus is. So go and check out yourlondonlegacy.com or at London underscore podcast on Twitter. All right. So it's Giving Tuesday podcast. Go and check it out. All right. Brand new shows for you to listen to. All fantastic shows I listen to. Uh, very, very regular shows I subscribe to. And, you know, just all people that I count as fantastic creators in the podcasting space, making waves in their respective niches. All right. Uh, so until the next time, do not forget that this show is brought to you by Aweber, the email marketing platform that I use for everything. Go and check them out if you're looking to increase your podcast engagement via email marketing and build those vital relationships. This is Mark Asquith. Go and check out markasquith.com forward slash Aweber for that information. I've been working with them for a long, long time now. And until the next time, thanks for joining me. A normal service will be resumed tomorrow. And never forget, the more you expect from yourself, the more you will excel. <laughs>